hey welcome you again so uh, in today's video we are going to see about this plot and this plot in seaborn i know that many of you would be confusing about this this plot and this plot thinking that they are two different functions but actually they represent the same thing so they stand for distribution plot so when you wanted to uh, visualize the distribution of any continuous uh, variable, we can use this disk plot or dist plot. So actually the difference is that this dist plot is in the older version of Seaborn and this disk plot is being added in the new version of Seaborn that is from 0 0.11 version. So you have this disk plot in new version that's from 0 0.11. Okay, so now let's understand what is the difference or what is the advantage that we have in this plot. Okay, because that's a newly added uh, function, right? So I'm going to show you the difference between this plot and this plot. So first, let me take this plot. So I'm going to uh, import few packages here. So let me input pandas as well. So let me take a data, a data set. So I'm going to take from Seaborn. And here I'm going to take Iris data set. So I hope many of you would be knowing about this Iris data set. So here we go. So actually, this is about this data set is about a flower called iris, where uh, it has three different categories, right? So uh, we have uh, uh, three different species in this iris flower. One is Sedosa versicolor and virginica. So this data set contains the details about the flower. So here we have sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width, and you can see all these are uh, continuous variables, right? So uh, let me take any variable here and let me plot a disk plot and disk plot. So let's just see the difference here. So first, let me show you a disk plot, which is found in the older version, yeah, right? So actually this disk plot is deprecated from Seaborn now. So here I'm going to take uh, one variable. So let's say sepal length, right? So let's see what kind of plot we get in a uh, dist plot. So you can see that by default, I get a histogram and a kernel density estimation curve. So what you see here is, so this is the histogram that we have, and this is the kernel density estimation curve. So if you see both gives a distribution of sepal length, right distribution of data for sepal length all right so here if i say let me uh you know want only histogram okay then i can use this parameter kde and let me say as false so in this case it will give me only the histogram right and let's say if I want only kernel density estimation curve, then I can give hist as false. And you can see only the kernel density estimation curve, right, for a uh, sepal length, right? So basically histogram, uh, you know, shows the distribution of the data set, right? So it, it uh, represents the distribution of variables by counting how many number of observations are there within the bins, all right? So, uh, you know, the basic thing is that both histogram and kernel density estimation curve will give you the distribution, distribution of uh, your data, right? So when we say KDE, it visualizes the probability density of a continuous variable, all right? So basically this dist plot gives you both histogram and uh, 
kernel density estimation curve. So if you want any one uh, plot, then you can give the other one as false. Okay. So this is what your distribution, dist plot will give you. So this, this is a warning because as this uh, dist plot is deprecated from Seaborn, you get this warning. Okay. Now let's go into the next plot, which is this plot. So here I'm going to take this plot and show you what is the difference between these two plots. So here, let me take a variable. Here we go. So when I call this this plot, it gives me the histogram for sepal length, all right? So as you can see, histogram, it creates the bins and within these bins, it tells how many number of observations are there, right? Within uh, these bins, you can see how many number of data points falls, all right? So it actually gives you the distribution, all right? And the advantage of this disk plot is that we actually have a parameter called kind and by default, this parameter takes hist as value, so you get a histogram. So the advantage of this disk plot is that we have three different plots in this kind. Okay, so disk plot comes uh, along with three main plots. So one is histogram. And you can also have kernel density estimation for uh, curve. And addition to this, we also have ECDF plot, okay? So this ECDF stands for empirical cumulative distribution function. So this this plot comes with these three main plots, okay? So earlier we used to plot this ECDF by using uh, uh, its own function, but now you can simply use this plot and have all these three kinds, kind of plots. So let me show you that. So by default, this kind parameter takes hist and hence we get a histogram. So let me change it to KDE. So when I change this, it gives you the kernel density estimation curve. Let me also give a uh, parameter. So let's take a species. So you can see category wise here, right? So we get the kernel density estimation curve for each category in species, right? So this blue one is for setosa and the orange is for versicolor and this is for virginica, right? So you can visualize the probability density of these uh, of this variable sepal length and you're viewing it for category wise right so this is for kernel density estimation so let me change it to ecdf so what do we see here so this is uh, called as ecdf plot so if you see histogram creates bins and it tells you the number of observations that falls with the bits, right? But ECDF plot actually visualizes each and every data point in the data set directly, right? So when compared to histogram, this ECDF plot contains more information because it doesn't have bins here and each, it visualizes each and every data point in, in your data set, right? So this ECDF plot gives more information than history plot, okay? So this disk plot can be uh, used for having three different plots. One is a histogram or a kernel density estimation curve or empirical cumulative distribution function, right? So this is the advantage of disk plot when compared to disk plot. So this is a newly added plot 
in Seaborn. So basically, we use both the plots, uh, dist plot and dist plot, for visualizing, uh, you know, the distribution of any variable. Okay. So I hope that you understood about dist and dist plot. Thank you.